The Ebola outbreak that swept through West Africa has claimed more than 11,000 lives. Children, mothers, fathers, doctors, and nurses. No one was safe. The epidemic was so horrifying that countries around the world finally rallied in sending help, building treatment units, training medical staff, and helping governments in an effort to work towards ending the epidemic. Rival pharmaceutical companies work together to produce a vaccine, and at last there is one, produced in record time and said to be highly effective. Based on the number of individuals and cases we see, uh, there is 100% protection in those vaccinated. The vaccine combines a protein of the strain of Ebola that ravaged West Africa and another unrelated virus. The result is a weakened virus that cannot cause disease but generates an immune response. Health workers and others at high risk were the first to get vaccinated, along with thousands of volunteers. What we did was to follow the epidemic in a way. We identified uh, contacts of uh, new cases and also contacts of their contacts, and therefore uh, had uh, identified a cluster or a ring of high-risk individuals. And those were the ones who were enrolled in the study. No placebo was used because the virus is so deadly and researchers wanted to save as many lives as possible. Producing the vaccine and conducting the study was an international effort involving Doctors Without Borders and the World Health Organization in Guinea. The Norwegian Institute of Public Health designed the study and Merck produced the vaccine. There's still no licensed vaccine against Ebola. The licensing process is time consuming. But the plan is to keep the study going until there are no more cases of Ebola in West Africa. Researchers estimate the epidemic will finally be over in a few months. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.